Oh no, that's now! <laughs> What up peeps, Salaviathan here, and we're back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up Orient Season 2. We're on Episode 2. And yo, last episode was a great setup episode. You know, we met the Usagi band along with all the allied Bushi that were under the Usagi band. Um, they all were preparing, to, I guess, to fight the Yamato no Orochi, which, was, which is basically like an eight-headed snake Kishin. I didn't know this, but all Kishin, I guess you can say, are all a part of some type of Japanese folklore, even in Goku Tengu, which was really, really cool, honestly. We ended up meeting Tatsuyomi Usagi, and we, we started to get a little bit of the kind of vibe he he kind of exudes, you know. He's very, very family oriented and he, he values that a lot more. So Musashi and Kojuro and uh, Sugumi, you know, they all end up getting caught <laughs> trying to find information about Kojuro's dad and they end up getting drafted into this Kishin fight. So they're going in and they're going to fight the Yamato no Orochi along with all the allied forces. So I'm really excited for that. But we're just gonna get started. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And and also consider checking out that patreon for full on reactions of this show and many other things i appreciate all the support that comes on there but we're not going to waste any time let's get started with orient season two episode two let's go I'm glad we're starting like right away here <laughs> Yo, this is a, yo, this is crazy impressive, man. He's like taking out like people who've been bushies for a long time too. But yo, Akihiro's like on another level, man. So is Akihiro's Kitetsu blade that? Yeah, I had a feeling his Kitetsu blade were in his was in his feet. <laughs> This guy is like on another level, man. He's got the bloodthirst in him. <laughs> this is a no kick game. I think that's what he was trying to say. Okay, that that's that's to be expected from a guy who's been a bushi for a very long time. Compared to Masashi. That other guy though, the guy from the Akano band, it was trash. I can't even lie. <laughs> that guy was pathetic. Yo, the fact that these two girls were rooting for him too is pretty. It was pretty great. <laughs> they don't even know who he is, but they're like, "Go, Masashi, go!" <laughs> nah, you already lost, man. Akitetsu okay, played on your feet so that he specializes in kicks. Yo, know, the the kind of style that he uses is so cool. <laughs> this guy right there is trash. <laughs> あいつ負け犬のくせに何邪魔しちゃってんのまだやる気なのか仲直りしようお前が小隊長だと認めるぜお前の強さすごかったぜ惚れ惚れするぐらいだった仲間になろうこれからは一緒に戦おうぜよか
淡路島沖へ出陣することになった俺が戦えといえば戦え引けといえば引けそれ以外は認めない命令に違反した者は島津の流儀で処罰する島津の流儀おしまずスタイル What the hell is that? You beat him to a pulp in a corner in an alley and toss him to the side? みんな怯えてお前に何にも言えなくなっちまうじゃねえか何も言う必要はねえ鬼を正義の守り神だって崇拝しててちょっとでも逆らうとこの世の悪みたいに非難されたんだだから誰かが正しくてそれに絶対逆らっちゃいけないってのは違う気がするそれに武士団の仲間の中で上も下もねえだろムサシスピーキングファクスライナウヘイドが出るほどのクソガキだなてめえはおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおいいなりで戦わされるなんてそんなの鉱山奴隷と何が違うんだよ自分の考えじゃなくて誰かに託された役目や願いを全うする生き方にも美しさはあると思うだからそんな奴隷と同じだとか言わないでお願い It's not the same as slavery Shit He lo- Damn man No one has his back at all Everybody's against him 俺には小次郎とつぐみがいる Ah,、uh, these two are having the best time with this unit. No, go on, sir. I know you don't go to go. This guy literally got put on freaking cutting potato duty. Mother was so tired. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, take you out of the middle. They gave him like the worst job. Oi, Tibun t a s t a g e t o t e g o t e n g a a s o t a o s o r a y a k u r i t e m o n d o Sakina. This whole Bushi hierarchy thing is like crazy. Like, this guy's just like, we have to like follow him no matter what. That's just how Bushi do things. Oi, what's it, Tiny Staganezo? Tato is Hitori in Atemona. Kimi was Hitori Janayo. こんななりだから、取るに足らない存在に見えたんだろうね。ごめん、気づかなくて。僕の名は。He's so noticeable though, man. He's like a mushroom-headed guy. <laughs> よろしくな。お前たち、武士のくせになぜ芋なんぞ向いとるのだ。お、お、あんた。なおえ様。セニョルも早く、我らが第一人の総司令官となだぞ。<laughs> え、この人が。第一人の任務は淡路島沖にはびこる高二どもを一手に引きつけることであるして第一人を率いる将はうちの名を兼ねたつである俺の本分は槍働きよりこっちだお前たちも早く持ち場に戻れいや俺は招待のやつと喧嘩して喧嘩か話にならんなお前は武士として弱すぎるよし。Oh no, that's now! <laughs> oh, Nanao is the guy with the gray hair and the tattoo! Nanao is the guy with the gray hair and the tattoo! One of the best fighters! <laughs> 一体どんな武士なんだ貴様が高二を三四匹一気に倒した勇士をバッチリとなんか言って三四匹とは何だ曖昧な表現をするな
This guy is amazing. He's smart as shit and he's strong as shit too. And he leads such command and respect in the Usagi band. I like this guy. I like him a lot. いい構えだ。すべての物には正しい形、黄金比があるので、人、物、金があるべき場所へきっちりと収まっている<笑> Oh my god, Musashi saying that would not lift people's spirits. They need somebody like that saying it. This guy. <laughs>。Yeah, man. He's like, I just brought all of them together. He's like, if you're if you're ready to fight, let's do it. それが武士なんだ。目的のために一緒に戦う。They I'm glad he's learning something here, man. This is an important lesson to learn, for sure. You gotta work together. Yo, Orient, season two, episode two. Good episode. I, li I like, I'm gonna tell you guys like some of the things that I, I really, really enjoyed, you know? That little battle here, kind of seeing like the, um, the Akahiro guy from the Shimizu band, I think that's what his name was, how he, how his powers kind of work and him with the kicks and stuff was really cool. Musashi kind of, um, trying to say, hey, like, let's work together, blah, 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 we could, like, and whatnot. That in itself was a little bit weird, because I thought for a second, like, like, what Musashi was saying was right, but at the same time, you know, on the other flip side, everybody's like, yo, you just gotta, you just gotta, suck it up and take command from him we're all working towards the same goal so we gotta like just work together you know him kind of um coming on the boat kind of learning like how useless he is alone as a singular unit was very important for Masashi. like the akahiro guy didn't take out that horn on his own he had to have his other band members kind of channeling their blade energy to attack it right which is why i think the kanamaki band has to grow a little bit because it's only them three that's a little small for a bushi band so it's definitely got to grow i'm excited to see, uh, for more of this because now it's like more of a separate type of thing where it's a singular masashi on his own learning learning things on his own from other real bushi and i kind of like that we're separating from sugami and kojiro for the minute and they're doing their own thing as well too i think i will end the video here i will see you guys around take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye.